Welcome to my ultimate garden room series. Now, we're sort of cleared out now, which is really nice because we need to insulate the slab. So this is a raft and the raft is on piles, it's solid concrete. And of course, to put underfloor heating in, the regulations will indeed, without underfloor heating, you need insulation. So what do we use? We use a solid PIR insulation, similar to what you use on a roof in between rafters, and we go over the entire floor. It's a very simple and quick job. The difference that we have here is the fact we've got our mechanical ventilation heat recovery running through. That means we've got a cut all the way around it. Now, I knew we were having this, so I made an allowance. Now, if, for example, my insulation was only 17.5 millimeters thick, it would only come to the top of these pipes. So what I did when I designed it, these pipes are 75 millimeters tight to the slab. The manifolds are about 95 millimeters. So I'm gonna use a 100 millimeter PIR everywhere. So to give you an example, that will get me over the tops of the pipes. Let's put a piece here. And then where the pipes are, I'll just loosely lay some 25 millimeter. That'll get me up to the same level. But we won't stop there. We've then got some aluminium sheet, which will actually go over the top to support the, um, the next layer of PAR, which is another layer of 25, which goes over the top. So the overall thickness of the PAR we've got going on our slab is 125 millimeters. Then we have our wet underfloor heating, which is on top of a slip membrane. So a plastic sheet that gets tanked all the way up the walls. Then we put our underfloor heating system around. We're gonna be using a new heat underfloor heating system. So in this video, we're gonna be putting down the insulation and getting it ready for the underfloor heating. So quite a lot of it's fitted. It's a really laborious, awkward job when you're going in amongst all of the pipes, you know, there's curves, there's arcs and, the guys have done a pretty good job considering it's just, you know, it's time consuming. So the plan is, what we do next is we metal over the channels, over all these channels, we metal them over with a very thin sheet of metal. Then we go again with 25 millimetres of PIR all over the top. So this is some of the metal and there's a strip of 25, it's just an example, we'll actually cut them to fit across both and that sits directly on top of the air pipes which gives it its support. And then those sheets of 25, which are gonna form the very top layer, will be laid all the way across. So you wouldn't even know that these 75 millimeter pipes are all actually under this floor. It works really well. But as I say, I thought about that in advance. I made sure I had enough insulation to take the MVHR build up. And it's really nice, really nice and solid to walk on. And we're just gonna get the next skin over, which is the 25 millimeter skin all the way over and then we're ready for the black plastic membrane. So this is what it looks like, an insulated slab, after we've done all of our work. So we've done all the insulation, we've got our MVHR pipes underneath in the first layer, which was the 100 mil layer. Then we went over the top of those, because they were 75 millimeter, with 25 millimeters of PIR to get us up to the 100 millimeter level. Then we used a metal plate all over all of the pipes that are in that first layer of insulation. So that means when we put this layer, the final layer of 25 mil PIR all the way over, everything is really nice and supported and nice and rigid. And when we're walking around, there's no chance of going straight through because once you've put all this down, you can't see where you have services that you've already laid underneath. We have put round our expansion for the screed, and I like to do that now. I'll then tank, because we're using a liquid screed, I'll then tank this whole floor in a membrane. This is the membrane here, so it's a thousand gauge, black plastic membrane. It comes in four meters wide, so I will have to join it together, so I'll use a special membrane tape for that. I'll lap them well, and then I'll join them. The whole object of this is when we put our underfloor heating in and that all holds everything down, it all goes in before the screed, obviously. The screed can't leak through anywhere. So that's the end of our insulating of the slab. It's all done, ready for me to put the membrane down and then the underfloor heating.